You know, I've directed for over three decades, but over the past 10 years or so, I've had the pleasure of mentoring up and coming directors. And one of the things I love talking with uh, young directors is not simply talking about the craft of directing, you know, for instance, where to put the camera, how to talk to actors, but how to comport yourself as a director, how to carry yourself in this business. And that's what really inspired me to write this book. But what I really want to do is direct is those are the questions I don't feel were discussed in film school. I feel like over the course of my career, I've learned to let go of control, to not be so controlling. And as a result, uh, I, I often find that, you know, the, the scenes that, the, that result are full of wonderful, happy accidents, things that couldn't have happened had I maintained such a strict control over things. There were a lot of people at the outset who didn't think it was a good idea to make The Office, that it, the original British show was so acclaimed and so creatively bold. Like, who, did, who were we to think we could replicate that kind of success? And I would say that one of the more rewarding moments for me in my career is not so much when the show became popular, but when we were making it, that it seemed so clear to us as a group, as a creative group, that we were on to something really good. I'm very proud of the Larry Sanders show. The Larry Sanders show was, you know, really a harbinger for a lot of today's tonally more audacious half hour stories. Whether it's a show like Fleabag or Atlanta, I feel like sort of, you, you can trace a line from today's tonally complex shows back to a show like The Larry Sanders Show. When I'm standing next to the camera, if what I see strikes me as human and relatable, I feel confident that the audience is gonna feel the same way. Regardless if the story is about four girls sharing a pair of pants or a zombie, it's easy to think of yourself as a commodity with a market value that fluctuates from film to film, from show to show, from job to job. So for me, like over the years, what I've tried to do is really, you know, not get hung up on how Hollywood defines success and, and figure out a way to measure it on my own terms. If you were passionate about telling stories on film or for television series, I have no doubt that you'll succeed. And I think it's, you know, it's a very difficult, it's a very competitive field. Uh, but I do think that passion, you know, wins the day every time.